Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodocs.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. Today, I'm showing you how to get and then customize the free restaurant menu template for Google Docs. There are many rules and guidelines for creating a cafe or restaurant menu. And well, you are not familiar with graphic design, but you want to create some nice looking menu in as little time as possible. I mean, spend your time running your business instead of caring about the menu in the first place. Luckily, there are hundreds of templates for different cafe and restaurant types, and Google Docs and Slides makes it really easy to use. Just get the template from the web and edit it right away, just like we do in this video. First up, make sure you are signed into your Google account. The simplest way to check that is to go to google.com. And on the Google homepage, at the top right corner, check if there is your profile picture or an icon with a person if you don't have it. This means you are signed in and you can skip this part. If not, you will have this sign in button, so press on it. Here, enter either your email address or a phone number linked to the account. I'm using my email and then press next over here. Now on this page, enter your password and next over here. You will be redirected back to the Google homepage and here you are signed in that you can always check by looking at the top right corner here. And if there's your profile picture or an icon with a person, you're good to go. From here, simply search for templates with a query like Google Docs Restaurant Menu Templates Free. Or you go to some particular website with menu templates like the Google Docs Free Templates and enter. Here's the GoodDocs.com, press it on it. And here on the homepage, let's get something good. Go to the templates and tab. That will open a drop down, and here you need the marketing column. And then the last item here the restaurant menu. On this page, there are basically thousands of different restaurant menu templates. All free for you, so pick whichever you like and use it absolutely free of charge. As you can see, there are Google Docs and Slides formats. And first, we will filter the search with this drop down and select Docs. Now, for a start, I'll choose this Docs template. Just click on it. And here on the template space, you can scroll down and preview the template. And if you like it, go back to the top of the page and hit this red Edit Template button. Single format size this time, click on it. And then you'll have this download page. Wait a bit. And then Google Docs will ask you if you want to copy the template that we just confirm. Wait a bit. And it will open in a new tab as a common Google document. But now it's yours, located on your drive, you can use it however you want. And now we're going to change it a bit to demonstrate how you can use it. Of course, it's really individual and depends on which template you choose and your tastes, but we'll do the basics. The front page and the text on it, you can change it and type in what you need. Then the specifics here. And then the second page with your dishes features, your story and your restaurant description and etc. Just type in what you need or even delete this page if you don't need it. For that, you select the image and just press delete on a keyboard. And then the same goes for text. Select it all top to bottom on the page and clear it. Then you would want to put it all in place. And here we go. Yet, I will return it. And then comes the third page. The exact menu with the dishes and their description. And what's good here is the flexibility. Basically, you can just delete this picture and put yours in its place. For that, go to Insert on the toolbar, Image and Upload from Computer. Select the one, double-click, and you have it in the dock. Let's reduce it by pulling one of the squares around it and dragging it to the center of the image. 
Okay, now let's put it in the right place. So make sure it is selected. And then on this little bar below the image, click on the last but one icon. Now that we freed the image, click hold on it and place the way so that it matches other images. And then we adjust its size to make it match as well. Okay, now you rename the position, changing its color and font and formatting. Then the cost and change its description. And the same concerning the remaining dishes. Then you have a differently designed page for some diversity. Where well, you can delete the background image and instead put the one you need, but in a bit different way. First of all, go to Insert, Image, and Upload from Computer. Choosing this one. Now, reducing its size. And then freeing it with this bar below. Yet this time, we need this button, standing for putting the image behind text. So click it, and you can see the result. Now for the last step, press on the Move with Text line on the bar and select Fixed Position on Page. Now it will stay where you place it regardless of anything. So let me put it in the top left corner of the page. And right after that, I will increase it to make it cover the whole page. And there we go. Of course, it's not perfect and you need to have a more correct size image, but it's here and it works perfectly as a demonstration. Now the same concerning the next page. And finally, the rear page with some details, with the tech that you can modify as well. And change the background image with the earlier mentioned method. Then you print a few copies of it and you have it in your cafe. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.